You know, yesterday I started sharing about Daniel, the man Daniel, and somehow I was sharing and praying along uh, on that. I just felt that maybe we should just do a study on the man Daniel, and that's what I, you know, I kind of uh, focused on doing for the rest of the week and maybe into next week, as long as it's going to take us and as the Holy Spirit directs, you know, we're just going to do a study on the man Daniel and uh, see what we can glean from it, learn from it, you know, so we're going to put this together. I, I titled it uh, the man Daniel, right? How to overcome in the last of the last days, you know, so uh, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, the next few meetings to come. I had to escape saying that uh, we, we want to probably do a little gleaning from the man Daniel, you know, as we as we shared yesterday. My mind just went, maybe we should see what we can learn for, from Daniel, see how far the Holy Spirit will take us in uh, talking about Daniel, see what we can learn from him, uh, especially as far living in this last of the last days, you know, that we're in. He was able to overcome as being an administrator in an idolatrous empire, yet he was unsolved. I mean, he held on to his righteousness and his worship of Jehovah, even in the midst of idolatry, you know, and he was able to overcome. And today we face what is similar to what Daniel went through. And it's not for us to be giving excuses why we cannot overcome while we cannot still be victorious, it's for us to learn from those that have gone ahead of us, see what they did, how did they differentiate themselves to still be regarded and respected, even in the midst of uh, idolatry that surrounded them, even in the midst of being away from home in a, in a land of captivity, yet they were able to reign, you know? So that, that's my whole heart desire in, in talking and look at so, so I'm hoping that uh, in the next few meetings to come, the Holy Spirit will, uh, you know, enlighten our hearts, you know, from various aspects concerning him. And uh, we can glean from him and, and see what we can apply in our own lives and uh, live the best of life that God has for us. Mm. Uh, so 